Hi, I'm Doug Adams. I'm the author of the music of the Lord of the Rings films. We are here in New York at Howard Shore's studio, so let's head inside and see who's home. Welcome to the writing studio. We're going to talk a little bit about the new score to The Desolation of Smaug. This film has the most new thematic material. Everything expands, kind of like Two Towers. It's very much a mystery, the music. It's dark. Once Peter and I would work on a scene and we would establish the point of view, you were just off and running. The music for Schmel should be almost beautiful in a way. Almost there, Howard? Yes. I'll compose a piece in sketch form, and then it goes to orchestration in production. Recording. Hi, we're here in the Wellington Town Hall recording the music score for the Desolation of Schmau. Today is day one of our pack-in yep. um, for recording into the Town Hall. The setup is actually something that we would typically do in a recording studio, and so we're attempting to actually bring out the best that we can in a recording environment as being on location. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> This building is also very noteworthy for me and maybe a few people watching this blog because in 1964, the Beatles played on that stage down there. It was their one and only Wellington visit. And my cousin Jill was actually at that performance when she took some photos um, from the audience. The 1960s version of iPhone photos in a concert. This is the control room. And as you can see, we're setting up the major desk, the console. And then back from that, we've got a lovely sofa area for Pierre and Fran to sit at. And no one will admit to this, but everybody in the crew at one point or another has come and sat in Peter's spot and just sort of seen how it is from his point of view. Man, dark. Uh, so dark. Yep. This is a very unique situation that he's given his notes about what he needs with the music. He can then just change his attention immediately to the editing of the film. We, we would like that. I'd like it. I don't know what it means, but I'd like it. I'm actually finding time, to tell you the truth, to be working on the editing of the third Hobbit movie. <laughs> We're finally getting to kill a dwarf, thank God for that. Should have happened a long time ago. <laughs> Seeing these amazing productions being made here in Wellington and across New Zealand, uh, we always felt like we, we would love to be able to do the complete package of, of the movie, so to have that shot, it's, it's pretty exciting. I auditioned to be a stunt extra in The Lord of the Rings and they didn't want me. But now I'm finally involved in the film project, so that's a good thing. We actually recorded a large section of the Fellowship of the Rings score here back in 2001 uh, with the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra. Well, there's an eye opener and no mistake. I was here for the, the Mines of Moria recording, yeah, and I remember that was a lot of fun, too. I'm here playing the kazoo. And the I'm triangle. playing the trumpet, which I took off. <laughs> the thing I love about symphonic writing is there's so much room to do things. Once you're in that acoustic space with those microphones, you can introduce so many subtleties to it. Previously, I had orchestrated everything, but in this film, it's James Sizemore and Conrad Pope. So, welcome back. <laughs> a good conductor is not someone who makes a performance. A good conductor is someone who actually releases a performance from all the great individuals that are in this orchestra. Conrad brings a lot of personality into the room. He's, um, he's always looking for a, an opportunity to tell a joke. Do you know the musician Salute? <laughs> <laughs> he's obviously a highly seasoned professional. He knows exactly what he's doing. Sorry, I, I 
have no idea how that phone works, and I... That's obvious, yeah. <laughs> and when you're playing this, I want you to feel excited. <laughs> 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 It's obvious why Howard Shore is doing the music for The Hobbit. It is so close to what we hear in Lord of the Rings. All new music in the style of the whole of the Middle Earth. There's so many new themes. Uh, I think we've got about 16. I'm having trouble keeping track of them all. <laughs> Tariel has a new theme and it's a new character. You know, bold new character fighting back, fighting the orcs. We have Lake Town. Peter's guide to it was smuggling in Cornwall. <laughs> I thought it almost felt like a sea shanty. Not the sea, though. I mean, it is it's a, a lake. It's a lake. It's a lake, yeah, a a lake, lake shanty. A lake shanty. <laughs> Another theme is called the House of Durin. Yeah, that's a very important yeah. theme. That's the history of the dwarves and their lineage. The king beneath the mountain shall come into his own. With Smog, there's a main theme for Smog. He's got a sinister quality to him, but it's very psychological. Peter kept talking about the eastern quality of the dragon, and he wanted to take it further east. And we kind of pulled out the stops and added the gamelon. We did a lot of gestural things and textural things with gamelan. So it was a bit of experimentation. We explored quite a lot of interesting percussion with the NZSO. Flute players is really beautiful type people. I think we're sort of seen as being a little bit prima donna-ish um, princessy types that are quite uptight. And then you have the first violinists that are, you know, that they've got so many notes to play and they're always busy and they're just sort of slightly hyperactive. Brass players are uh, in the life of the party. Yeah, we are the life of the party. Check out John's tattoo. Isn't that awesome? This is going to take your head off. Okay, is that what you want inside? Fantastic, that's the sound. But could we try even a little bit more? Over the top. Yeah. Okay, we said it. Okay, good. Thank you very much. You've all been amazing. So thank you. And a surprise. Oh! Jackson. It's always been the one piece of the puzzle that we haven't been able to do here, but we can now, and we're going to be doing it here from this point onwards. You've made our movie sound so incredibly good. Thank you. This is going to be our last blog for 2013. I hope that you enjoy the movie. I will look forward to our blogs resuming again next year and um, continuing this journey for the third movie, 2014. So have a fantastic holiday. Thank you very much. I can see a lake and the lonely mountain. <laughs> We're almost there.